bricks, we bricks, we bricks. Relax, we bricks, we bricks. Relax, Afawax. Relax, will you? Hello, Afawax. Uh, let's get at it. Bag 10. Now, I, I know I say this every day, but it is a small one, so we might end up doing 11. Who knows? Let's see what the day holds. Let's get at it. Pearson. Right then, off we go. Um, it's jolly cold in here. Although, having said that, um, I'm wanting it to be cold because I'm desperate for it to snow. And I looked at a I know that there, there is snow is, is a coming to the UK and I looked at um, a map today in one of the newspapers that was sort of an indicator of, of where it's getting all the snow and there is one sort of tiny corner of the UK that's not getting any snow and I'm in it and I'm absolutely... I'm, 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 I won't lie, Ethel Axe. I'm devastated! <laughs> I love snow and do you know what, what's even worse is that um, not this Christmas I think, I think it was last Christmas or even the Christmas before I was given um, a really fabulous proper a proper proper old uh, wooden sleigh or a sledge a sledge really not, not a sleigh wasn't being pulled by a reindeer. I haven't got a reindeer. I mean, I'd love a reindeer, but I haven't got a reindeer. Um, and I've just been longing, longing for a day when I can finally uh, christen it. I haven't been able to do so yet. <sighs> Which is really upsetting. I know exactly what I'm going to do as well. I'm going to go to Windsor Great Park. There's a, there's a massive hill there. And uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to sit on my... And, slide down that's that's the dream FOX that's the dream that as of yet is is sadly got no chance of happening anyway off to the Google eyes Ooh, no not that one not that one Tweedle Mandy Tweedle must be Sue they are twins and they love poo uh, hello uh, mother goose hello says Tweedle must be Sue H hello there yes hello Hello. Uh, thank you and John Parry for trying with Shangalang. Well, I wasn't involved. It was had nothing to do with me. It was John Parry. Mm -hmm. I think if you'd got to the chorus, says Vaspusu, you'd have been on surer ground. Mm, I, d I, mean, I doubt it. What was the first record you ever bought? Could John Parry sing that for us all, please? Mm. Oh, right. Okay. Hang on. <clears throat> okay, hang on, please. The first one I bought. This isn't. This isn't the first record I ever had. Um, this is the first record I I actually bought with my own money. Okay, hang on, please. 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 Right, you ready? Uh, uh, come forth, please, uh, John Perry. <laughs> Uh, and off you go. So this is John Perry sings the first record I ever bought. <coughs> In the deserts of Sudan and the gardens of Japan, from Milan to Yucatan, every woman, every man, do do hit me with your rhythm stick, hit me, hit me. A je ne dis glee hit me, hit me, hit me, hit me with your rhythm stink, hit me slowly, do, hit me quick, hit me, hit me, 
Thank you. Thank you. Chris falls back to the bleachers. You're a crusty fool. Crusty fool. He's crested forth. Uh, I hope that uh, satisfies the request. Um, Michael Beelbury. Uh, Dolly Neptune did do singing. Now, of course, I realise this. Yes. Dolly Neptune did do singing yesterday, uh, did she not? So this has put a cat amongst the pigeons. Well, we'll see if she, she may not have noticed. In which case, she may do singing again. <sighs> uh, the entire world is turning upside down in 2021, says Michael Pendlebrook, yes. Uh, um, uh, me again, says Vaz Pusu. Uh, Eric, that song for Little Sue's Holy Relic is brilliant. Uh, Eric, he's got a duck of you. They both like watching their go. And they really like musicals. So his name is Eric. Boom, boom, boom. Et cetera. Uh, he says, thank you. That, that was it. He got a whole song just for that. Uh, Jordan. Jordan, Jordan, Jordan. There's an error here. There's an error here. I'm sorry, I can't let it go. Sorry, Jordan. Hang on, please. There's an error here, and I can't let it go. I can't believe no one noticed. Mind you, we haven't been over on this side. So I'm I'm forgiving everybody involved. Um Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And thank you. No, thank you, madam. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, everybody involved. I have fixed it. Thank you. I have fixed it. I have fixed it. I fixed it. Ooh. I fixed it. Um, got a lot of Google eyes today. Uh, this is an official request for Mother Goose to eat it. What? To eat an actual poisson croissant on an edition of Live and Breaking. Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> Jordan. <laughs> Jordan. <laughs> oh, God. Mother Goose to eat an actual poisson croissant on L and B. Look how bad my handwriting is there. That that that's that that's uh, That's how bad that is. Jordan, I can't believe you've done that. I can't believe it. Uh Eric Oswald. Hang on, this might be on the next page of the Google Eyes. Yes it is. Uh Eric Oswald says, Oh yes, I remember David Collins. And when you got a uh, Giuseppe, a uh, Peppy the motor scooter. Yes. Yes, I used to have a little Vespa. See, Eric goes back way back. He's way back. We go, we go, we go way back. Way back. Um, do you still have the scooter? No, I do not still have the scooter, sadly. Um, I absolutely loved that scooter. I went back to your website when I first came to Relax With Bricks because I wanted to show everyone... The picture gallery of me with your first book. It was only then that I discovered the version of your website was gone. I was crestfallen. Yes, sorry, it's gone. It's gone. Absolutely gone. Um, that was another era, wasn't it? Uh, Eric, another era. All those blogs, gone. It's gone. It's just gone. Just gone. 
Sometimes, though, it's we, we all need a bit of a clean sweep. There's no point looking back, she said. That sounded rather depressing, didn't it? <laughs> but my gosh, we did have fun. We did have fun, didn't we? Over there. Um, Tweedle Mandy uh, says, Hi, Cindy. Uh, do, join, do join in the fun. It's lovely here. Yes, yes. Let's give another round of applause for Cindy. Potent potentially new Afawak. A potential new Afawak, I feel. Um, Jordan. I once spent a weekend in Paris with a carrot. Mm. Mm. Oh, you've, you've whetted my appetite uh, there, Jordan. Um, I'll have to know more about that, please. Uh, twit woo, Alan Horrid. Uh, my kale of vegetable love. I used to date... Oh, here we go. Here we go. I used to date a groovy chicory. She was a sweet potato. And I thought she couldn't be beat. Oh, here, mm, I see what you're doing here. She was a carrot top too. But when her ginger roots started showing, giving her an old, odd radish tinge, I started having second thoughts. She'd also turn it late for dates. And her celery was a lot more than mine. Which didn't give me mushroom for financial manoeuvre. In the end, I decided I'd been led up the garden path. I told her, at least, at least let us part on good terms. But I found it a bit charred. Anyway, that shallot. <laughs> very good yes yes that's excellent that's excellent work that is excellent work Alan <laughs> absolutely excellent work <laughs> phenomenal phenomenal in fact absolutely phenom 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 um slightly forgotten where I am here right I've yes I have done that um ooh, no okay. Voila. I'm just slightly concentrating before I turn the page. Oh I see. Okay. Do 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 do, 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 do. That, that, and that. Now we can turn the page. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Um, we thought she was from Canada, and then we didn't think she was from Canada, and then it turned out she was from Canada. It's Joe Lily B. Well done, Emma. Uh, that that was a lot of Canadian to get through, eh? Uh, those red brick bricks are very nice. It's too bad the train track isn't longer. You'd be able to set up a nice little trip around the Lego shed. The Lego shed. Um, yes, I know. I do keep thinking that. Maybe that's something that 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 uh, can come down the line. <laughs> come down the line. <laughs> um, oh well, then that's supposed that should be level with that. Why isn't it level? Why isn't it level? That's a worry. Hang on, please. Hang on, please. Oh, maybe it's not level. Well, it should be level. Oh, this is a worry. Why isn't that level? Oh, it is level. <laughs> it is level. 
It is level. It is level. Thank you. Thank you for coming to my very minor panic. It's now over and has concluded. Thank you for coming. Thanks for coming. Phew. -y. That that was a that that was a very minor panic. Um Jordan, that tune for the holy portrait of little Sue is absolutely marvellous, Eric. Um Danny. Gwarrr! That was a thrilling ride. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Mandy uh, says, uh, Eric, brilliant song. I loved it. Yes, everybody, everybody loved, everybody loved the, uh, the, the song. I, uh, I got rather emotional at little Sue's exit from the haunted table, says Jordan. Hashtag come back, little Sue. Well... That, that whenever she wants to come back, she can. We can bring the cafe back. Um, but I, I have to agree with you. It's, it's, it's not right. Look, 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 look how far away she is. Look at the little cafe over there. <sighs> By the way, if you're wondering where, where, the, where the mini figs have gone, if you're wondering, wondering, oh. Look, look, look. Oh, where have all the minifigs gone? Where have they gone? Where have they gone? Look, I'll tell you where they've gone. They've gone over here. Look, they're in... Oh, no, I just... I just conked over the... Oh, no, this is a disaster. Excuse me. Thank you. Just conked over the heater. Look, they're all here. I've put them in there for safekeeping. They're themed. There's going to be more of that happening, by the way. For the newbies who haven't seen the uh, the system. That was a little flyby. Little flyby. Uh, for those of you who, that that's where I'm up to with Notre Dame. Thank you, thank you. Just giving you a little tour. Why not? Why not? Uh, right, where am I up to? I need to do a door. Um, Sharon Renzulli, Sharon Renzulli, Sharon Renzulli, Sharon Renzulli, Sharon Renzulli, Sharon Renzulli. She says, uh, yo, Eric, a wonderful little suicide, a great baritone. Uh, fix. Uh, of course, Eric is, is thanking everyone who is saying this. Uh, Eric says, ooh, poutine. Thanks for reminding me, Gillian B. If you haven't had good Canadian poutine, you don't know what you're missing. Yum, I have never had poutine. I've never, ever, ever had it, and I need someone to send me the recipe, and then I will make Canadian poutine. And then maybe I will eat Canadian poutine on live and bricking along with the poisson poisson uh, yeah. uh, how am i even going to make the poisson poisson this is a disaster um anyway yes i'll have the recipe for poutine please uh Gillian b the recipe for poutine does it need a special canadian cheese i've got a feeling it's like chips and cheese isn't it or something anyway um Gillian B, have you watched the, the BBC's Full Steam Ahead, Jordan? It is about steam engines, eh? Um, no, not yet, but I do plan to. I love steam trains. I love steam trains. I love a steam train. Oh, here she comes. <laughs> You're a bit chesty today. Dolly, that's you, yeah, bitch, yes, it is, sir. Because I inadvertently did do singing uh, yesterday, and that was a trick uh, played on me by the Muppet. Well, I don't think it was. It, yeah, it was a trick. Because I don't do singing. Yeah, all right, what do you want? Uh, I just want to shout something very loudly uh, vis a vis biscuits. Yeah, go on then. It's custard cream, of course, isn't it? It's custard cream. Custard, custard blinking cream, custard cream, of course, custard cream. Yeah, right, can you like me? No, there's no smoking on the haunted table. 
got she's got mad shouting custard cream at people. Shouting custard cream. Um Oh, Twit Twoo Owlin has a question for Dolly Neptune, which is uh, custard first or cream first? Oh, I see what you've done there. Don't don't start a custard cream schism, please. Whatever you do, actually begging. Um do do do. Do 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 I need to get a lick on. I haven't even penetrated the Twitter eyes yet today. Um Danny Bauer rawr, The best biscuit rich tea. I even live life on the edge and dunk them in my tea. Mm. I'm yes, uh, I I can't dunk a rich tea biscuit because I find it just it collapses and there's nothing more upsetting, quite frankly. Little soup. As she's called little Sue, she's little. As she's called Sue, she's little Sue. He he hello, that's me, li li little Sue. And I just want to do a uh, comment, please, on uh, what Danny has the the pie what, who's sort of like a pie what, but not really a pie what. Um, what? What she just said, please. And I'd just like to say that Peter K would have something to say about dunking her rich tea biscuit. And hobnobs were his marines of the, of the biscuit of the biscuit world. And I just like to say that Peter K biscuit sketch is very funny. If the other wax haven't seen it, please burst the bottle. Yeah, he, he does a he does a good uh, biscuit sketch. Yeah, he does a good bis 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 biscuit sketch. Uh, Eric says a bourbon. How is that spelled? Because all I can think here is bourbon, uh, bourbon, and I'll have a bourbon with my bourbon. Yeah, it's actually spelled the exact same way as bourbon, uh, and it is pronounced a bourbon biscuit, um, unless anyone wants to tell me differently. But it is spelt the exact same way as bourbon. A bourbon biscuit. I'm quite surprised, actually, when you had your um, your, your UK biscuit uh, package that you didn't have a packet of bourbon biscuits because uh, I think they are the king of biscuits. And uh, there can be no, no, and I will not accept any, any uh, objections to this. There can be no sufficient biscuit plate that does not include a bourbon biscuit. That's it. No, sorry, that's an adjudication from me. That's I've spoken. I have I have spoken. Uh, be quiet, all of you. Uh, I have spoken on that, and I shall not be. Uh, I, I shall not be um, contradicted. That is the law. That is the law of a biscuit plate. Of a random biscuit plate, there must be a bourbon. Thank you, thank you. Uh, um, is that the? Oh no, not quite the end of uh, Google Eyes. Um, Jordan did uh, Dolly Neptune just sing the Tweedle Mandy Tweedle Vars Pusu? They are twins, but who is who? Theme tune because I, I can't be the only one who clocked that. No, she she did, she did, she did, she did do singing. Uh, Twit to Owlin, uh, yeah, but in a, I'm, I'm really am singing, but not quite enough so that I couldn't deny it if challenged kind of way. I think she did do singing yesterday. That, I'm afraid, makes her available for singing requests. Sorry. Uh, she did do singing. Um, she is now available for singing requests. <sighs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Right off to the Twitter. Rise to do be do be do to do rise to do be do be do to do rise to do be do be do to do rise. Uh, Mr. Graham Triggs. Oh gosh, we got an adjudication. Adjudication. Adjudication from Mr. Graham Triggs. Mr. Graham Triggs, the VAR, the official referee of Relax with Bricks. Uh, he says adjudication. No. Official request cannot be removed by a secondary official request. We've already covered this. 
Otherwise, we'll have an official request to remove the official request to remove an official request. And where will that get us? Thank you. That's the adjudication. So I'm afraid, Professor Lego, the, uh, your valiant attempts to uh, save me from all manner of horrors uh, has sadly, sadly, sadly uh, been rejected by the VAR. Sorry. Boo! John Perry! Ooh! Um, I, I'll, I'll pick a favourite uh, biscuit. Um, uh, there, there are too many uh, that I love. Oh, do you love biscuits as much as you love tiles, John Perry? No, I'll tell you tomorrow. Uh, but I, I will add that plain digestives. Oh, this is going to cause a schism. And custard creams. A crep. <laughs> I can only imagine the the white blind fury uh, that Dolly Neptune uh, is now experiencing. <laughs> Ooh, that's a good, that's gauntlet down. That's gauntlet down on on the uh, battle of the biscuits. Uh, gauntlet down. Though I think I, I did uh, well singing that, considering I've never heard it before in m my life, and uh, and I still haven't. No, you 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 did uh, you did very well yesterday. Sometimes I think the more interesting uh, John Perry uh, sings uh, come from when you clearly have never heard the song before in your in your life. Um, but I think you, you did a valiant effort. You know, the, 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 the point is here, you, you, you pays for what she gets uh, at Relax With Bricks. And uh, if you want John Parry to sing, um, you, must take the, you must take all the risks that go with that. Look at this lovely wall. I mean, I know I've said it a million times now, but it's like we're back doing the old Ghostbusters firehouse. Um, Graham Tree. Oh, there's another adjudication. Oh, crumbs. Adjudication, adjudication by Mr. Graham Triggs, the bar, the official referee of Relax with Bricks. Um, he says adjudication. Similarly, official requests must have a defined end state, enabling it to be completed and crossed off. An official request to not be forced to do knock off builds is not of regular form and cannot be accepted. <gasps> well, there it is. That's it. That's it. The man has spoken. The man has spoken. We respect his authority. We respect his authority. Eh, eh, his authority. Um, Professor Lega. Today, I thought we'd return to something that didn't get the coverage it deserved. The Tweedle Twins Christmas gift to Mother Goose, which contained a number of interesting minifigs. Hmm. For a reminder, here is a link to 3 minute 8 seconds into the Christmas build video. Uh, he has included, uh, he's included a handy link there. Right, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. You guess that this fellow on the left was from Friends Theme. Him. 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 Remember him? He's instead a character known as Jack Stout. A friend's figure can be seen on the right for comparison. Ah, oh, so it's not... F not friends. Sorry, Fruity Bear. The Jack Stone uh, range ran from 2001 to 2002 and is looked upon as one of the last successful... Su now, not successful, Emma. Uh, th that's not what this is... That what this channel's about at all, unless, of course, you're referring to Jackie Swamp. Uh, it's one of the less successful attempts by Lego. Uh, this period is often seen as the decline era of Ego, Lego, Ego. Now, Lego, Emma, what, can't you just talk properly, please? <laughs> so, sorry. Sorry, Professor Lego. Sorry, I think I, I was... I was I think I was just uh, I'm feeling a little bit uh, um, discombobulated and upset by the thought that Lego ever had ever had a terrible period. <sighs> anyway, carry on. Uh, before they almost went bankrupt in the early 2000. What? 
What? Thankfully, they pulled it back. But, and I could be wrong, you wouldn't find many people with kind words for the Jackstown Fergus. This fellow is Steve from Minecraft. As I don't play the game Minecraft, I can't tell you much about Steve. But you have to admire that square noggin of his. Yes, let's admire his square noggin. Square noggin. Thank you. Uh, these two ugly buggers are bad guys from the world of Ninjago. On the left, we have Nindroid, which I'm guessing means he's a ninja droid. On the right, Slackjaw. Slackjaw, that's a heck of a name. Uh, the last figure to remark on today is General Zod, specifically the one from Man of Steel, and not Terrence Stamp from Superman 2. See, right. Although it does look a bit like him. Mm. Mm. Well, thank you. Thank you for that, uh, Professor Lego. That's super. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. I've just seen what's coming up now. Oh, no. Uh, yes, it's me, Emma. So, you know, let's just get on with it, shall we? Yes, let's just... Uh, Let's let's just let's just get through this bit, shall we? Look, we'll 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 do the best we can, little Sue. Well, uh, yesterday, of course, uh, you uh, made uh, serious inquiries uh, vis a vis my upcoming hot drink menu. Yes, I did. Yes. Well, uh, I I now can exclude exclude. Exclusively, ex exclusively, it's it's pretty special actually. Uh, reveal <laughs> my hot drink menu. So please, could I have a do a do a do a do a roll? Please, please do it now. Yes. Yes. Uh, in number one, woo. Number one, of course, it's Poisson Coffee. It's <laughs> <laughs> Poisson Coffee, yes, Poisson Coffee. Ooh, hello, bonjour. Voulez-vous le café de Poisson? And number two, it's hot chocolate with Poisson sprinkles. Oh, that I mean that actually sounds that actually sounds nice. Little Sue. Yes, it's, 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 it's hot chocolate, which everybody likes. Yeah, I mean, who doesn't like hot chocolate? Like crazy people uh, who must never be trusted. That's who, that, that's the sort of people who, you know, hell, you know if, if ever you're in a, a, a situation where you've got to make a split decision, just say, oh, hello, do, do you like, do you like hot chocolate? If they say no, just run away. Just run, just run, run for your life. Um, but uh, hot chocolate with croissant sprinkles, you say, little Z? Yeah, yes, hot, hot chocolate, <sighs> which has been sprink sprinkled, uh, li liberal uh, spring sprinkles, lots of sprinkles with bits of croissant. Um, I'm, uh, I'm drinking that all day long, am I? Yeah, yes. <laughs> Yes, it's <laughs> that does sound like a super, super, super a uh, lovely drink for a cold, a uh, cold day. Yeah, yes. And finally, uh, the the last drink on my on on my on my on my hot drink menu, Amor. Is sprout broth, but broth, not soup. No, please don't, please don't say the word soup, Emma. Yeah, I'm not saying the word soup. Yep. Don't, no, don't say it. No, I, I haven't said it. No, Emma, stop saying soup. I'm, I'm not saying soup. Shush, shush with your chat about soup because it's not soup. I haven't, 
I'm so sorry. He's a broth. Yeah, oh, he's a spr sprout broth. He has a sprout broth. Um, I, I should acknowledge that this idea was down to Kath Pearson, so she must be given the credit for this. Right. Anyway, I'd just like to say that all drinks are 99 pence, and please bring your own mug, bless the bottle. Bring your own mug? Bring, bring your own mug? That's a bit, a bit cheeky, isn't it? Bring your own mug. Flipping it, bring your own mug. Um, scrub down, scrub down. Check this one. Uh, she says, uh, anything with carrots? Of course, of course she says anything with carrots. Of course she does. Of course she does. Uh, de Amor? Yes? Uh, this is how I imagine Professor Lego giving his lessons. Um, no offences on Tandord. I mean, that's John Bolton, little Sue. That's, that's John Bolton. Uh, uh, if that's John Bolton, little Sue, I'm going to fail a little offended. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> now you've done it. <laughs> now you've done it, little Sue. <laughs> um, Katie Hall says, as, 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 you, as you should, Professor. Yes. Um, Light Bevis, Light Bevis. Where is he? He's, he's gone. Light Bevis, Light Bevis. Uh, Kath Pearson. Uh, okay. Uh, who is going to explain to Emma that she is, in fact, a vegetarian herself? Oh, God. <sighs> Rosalie said, I kept shouting, you are, when she asked that. I'm hoping she will work it. Or maybe JGG could explain it to her. I've never heard it before, ever. Uh, Kath Pearson, I was as well, Rosie. I'm sure Gigi can set her straight on this one. Yeah, it made me laugh. Each time she's said it. Not, I'm shush, everybody, all of you. Uh, Ruth Hayes, perhaps next time Mr. Parry sings, it might be an idea to furnish him with lyrics or at least a vague idea of the tune. I mean, this is Bay City Rollers for heaven's sake. Hashtag screams, I love you, Woody. No, thanks, uh, Bay City Rollers, S slightly bef bef before my time. Yeah, Tanya now dressed to Ted doesn't believe a word of that, thank you. Oh, never ending boy. Gary Blair, Gary Blair, Gary Blair, never ending boing. Gary Blair, Gary Blair, Gary Blair. Um, he's got the broken window, is Amalos. Right, he's got some more pics. Look. Okay. And he says, shunk factor so far. Zero. Zero shunk. Even with complex curves. Uh, John Perry says, Do you think it might have something to do with the builder's uh, skills? Yeah, he says, I, I can't decide whether that's a compliment for me or, or, or the boy. Is it a boy? Oh, the boy anyway. Uh, Jackie Swan, uh, none of you will be surprised that my favourite brisket is the hobnob. Okay, of course it is. Uh, intimate relationships with, with vegetables. That's a whole other channel, methinks. Uh, Stan's chilli. Uh, 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 Stan's mum. Is that a chilli? Uh, uh, uh. Sorry, I think I just called Stan's mum Stan's chilli. Mm. Uh, Ruth Hayes. Dear Mother Goose, please could I take a ride on the train? Preferably in the carriage with the blue and white canopy. It would be a shame if nobody sat under it after all the palaver. Also, I could take the opportunity to check up close whether it's fixed properly. Yes, I will. Uh, I, I, I will check on it for you. I will check. Uh, no, not, not check. I'll, I'll give you a ride at the end of uh, at the end of uh, today's film. Uh, Bev says, if we're talking a tea dunking biscuit, you can't beat the humble rich tea for non dunk dunking either a bourbon or a party ring. Oh, a party ring! I'd forgotten about party rings. Uh, Ruth Hayes says, no, no, and thrice no to dunking. I know I'm a voice in the wilderness. I will forgive you, though, as you reminded me that many moons ago, rich tea biscuits were an excellent antidote for morning uh, sickness. Hmm. Are they? That's, that's interesting. By the way, we've completely, we've run out of, we've run out of bits. I've run out of Lego. Um, I think that goes there. We've run out of Lego. Oh, no, it doesn't go there. Where did that go, then? I've got one of these left, which is worrying. Hang on. 
Um, right, well, anyway, in any event, we are going to have to do bag 11. So hang on, please. Right, on we go. Um, uh, Ro Rosie Lee. Uh, Mother Goose, uh, 1028p is the screen resolution for an HD TV. Uh, Kath's joke was a, a, a play on the word resolution. Uh, Tanya now dresses, says it's the choices on YouTube's too. Thank you for answering. I was still incapacitated. It's been quite the viewing week, hasn't it? <laughs> well, <laughs> I mean, as if I'm ever going to know anything about anything that's to do with, with, with technical matters. As if, I mean, good luck studio on that. Um, we'll need that. There we go. Oh, I think I missed out a message from Rosie. Uh, Rosie Lee says, I love a humble ginger nut, but Tesco finest dark chocolate ginger cookies are chef's kiss. Uh, Jackie Swan says, I have one of those first generation doodars. Oh, bricks up, Ryder. I'll bet, I'll bet you do. Uh, Rosie Lee uh, says, We am flying. Thank you, Mother Goose. My pleasure. Uh, Kath Pearson, which biscuit is always picking pockets? Uh, I don't know, Kath Pearson, which biscuit is always picking pockets the jabby dodger <laughs> yeah. hashtag biscuit jokes thank you uh thank you uh little sue uh hang on a minute little sue okay thank you uh little sue uh Emma. yes uh my i want to talk about my favorite biscuit Right, is it anything to do with fish? No, it's, no, don't be ridiculous. No one in their right mind would eat a, eat a biscuit with a fish in it. Mm. Well, you're putting coffee in. You're putting a, 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 a fish in a coffee. Yes, there's Brussels coffee. Which everyone knows is a, is a great delicacy. Mm. Anyway, my, my favourite biscuit topper is a full-sized cheddar rather than a mini cheddar and what hang on stop i didn't know that there were full size cheddars that are not mini cheddars i'm well aware of the work of the mini cheddar i had not a clue not a clue that there are full size cheddars what what this this is this is this is game changing what yes there's a full size cheddar rather than a mini cheddar. And Emma, I, you have to know this because it's quite serious. I, I have to ration myself to five at a time. I'm not sure why five, but there we are. And I could demolish a whole, I could, I could demolish a whole pack if I wasn't restrained. Wowie. This, this is, I'm going to have to go away and think long and hard about this because I genuinely didn't know that there were full-size cheddars. I only thought there were mini cheddars. Uh, Twitwoo Helen Harwood says, if we're talking biscuits, that must be rationed. It's currently Jaffa Cakes and Cadbury's chocolate fingers for me. I used to like m and extremely chocolatey rounds. There's a pattern emerging here, or Tesco's equivalent, but managed to keep away recently. Tanya now dressed it to says, ooh, chocolate fingers. Ooh, Chocolate fingers salivating. I wish I wish there was a I wish there was a, a sound effect here for chocolate fingers. It's just that, isn't it? Um, twit twoo. It's not really. That's not the right. That's, that's not the right sound effect for that. Um, twit twoo. Alan Howard says can also drink Smarties. <laughs> I mean, I I might pay to see that. No, stop. I wouldn't pay to see it. No, I w I'd stop. Stop in your tracks. I wouldn't. I would not pay to see that. No, I don't need to see Owlin drinking Smarties. No. 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 Come on, please. Let's just do that. There we go. Um, what for these? Uh, Bev Bratton says, uh, hashtag uh, John Parrish sings request, please. 
uh, I'm going to be 500 miles the proclaimers. Thank you. Hang on. This is going to be awkward because uh, the lawn man has arrived and he's out in the garden and he's now going to hear me doing this. I, j I just want you to know that. I just want you to... Are you putting it... Are you putting it off, Emma? No. no. Just hang on a minute. Just... Just hang on, please. Just doing this first. Oh, no. Are we out of... Are we out of time? <laughs> Might have to sing it tomorrow. No, you, I think... I think you've got to sing it now. Uh, the request has been put in. C can you whisper it? <laughs> just... Well, just... just yeah, no, the request has gone in, Emma. That's, that's, that's how this works. But the lawn man's in the garden. <laughs> He's going to hear me do it. Just do it. Just get on with it. Right. Oh. <laughs> Hang on, please. <sighs> 500 miles. I can't believe I've got to do this while the lawn man's in the, in the garden. <sighs> right, okay. Come, come forth, please, sir. Uh, John Parry, come forth. Come forth, John Parry, come forth. <coughs> Drum roll, please. <coughs> so, uh, when I wake up, well, I know I'm going to be, I'm going to be in the bed. It wakes up next to you. Oh, oh when I go out, yeah, I know I'm going to be, I'm going to be in the bed of ghosts along with you. Uh, when I get drunk, I mean, I, I, I don't like to drink, uh, unless it's Tizer or, or uh, another similarly f f fizzy, uh, f fizzy spectacular. Oh, uh, 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 no, I'm going to be, I'm going to be the man who gets drunk next to you, although, as I've already previously explained, I don't get drunk. Uh, when, when I have a, hey, I know, I'm going to be, I'm going to be the man who's hovering. Have, Next to you, uh, what in the blue blinky blazes is is hammering? Uh, what what are they talking about here? And I would roll four hundred balls, dog roll four hundred ball, just be the bad rolls, thousand balls to fall down at your door, be the bad Little do, 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 do. press the button. Roll down, press forth back to the bleachers. <coughs> Quite a subdued, uh, subdued performance mm, there from John Pack. Yeah, that was almost as if you were doing it quietly so the man in the garden doesn't hear you and think it's your absolutely mental, Emma. <coughs> I don't know what you're talking about, so I haven't got to. I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, Stan's mum, uh, biscuits, what luck. My specialist subject, I do love a dark chocolate coated ginger biscuit from Borders. Other brands available, but not as nice. Yes. Ooh, hang on. Really? No, I want. I think I want it to go that way, thank you. Uh, they want it that way. Hmm, all right. They do want it that way. How weird. Okay, fine. Um, I'm also a bit of a dab hand at making ginger snaps. I'm loving this build, which has come as quite a surprise to me. Will you look at those, please? Thank you very much for asking. Oh, you can smell them. They look so good. Uh, Neil says, awesome looking ginger snaps. Can these be provided for Afawak road trips, please? Official request. Hashtag, we demand homemade. As uh, Stan's mum, I'll pop them into a nice Tupperware pot for the journey. As long as I can find a lid that fits. Um, Neil says, portioning idea. Goo pots with Pringle lids, one per Afawak. You're welcome. Uh, Kath Pearson. What did the dolphin say when the priest tossed him a fish? Oh, I don't know, Kath Pearson. What did the dolphin say when the priest tossed him a fish? Holy mackerel. Oh. <laughs> um, Emma, were you just joking then with, with Skipper Fingers? <laughs> no. No, I wasn't. No. 
Uh, Ruth Hayes, the first time I ever travelled on my own was to Vancouver in 1981 when I was 21. I was visiting a friend whose parents were Canadian and she and they had moved back there. It was a lovely city, great food and the surrounding countryside, forest and coast was stunning. Whilst there, I also visited Vancouver Island and then on to a much smaller uh, uh, island called Gabriola where her parents had made a log cabin which they made their home. Oh, it was so lovely. Sadly, I lost contact with her some years ago. Oh, that's sad. That's, that's sad. That's, that's sad. Um, find her again. That's the brilliant thing about the internet these days, isn't it? You can pretty, pretty much find anyone. Well, unless they've done that thing where they, where they make sure no one can ever find them again. Unless they've done that. To be fair. Right, hang on. No. No, 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 no. Let's get this right, shall we? Hang on, please. Uh, Eric, I've been to Vancouver Island. Um, Double-decker bus tour on Victoria and then on to the, the Bouchard, or Bouchard Gardens, uh, which was beautiful. A friend and I took a ferry from Seattle to the island and back in one day, back around 1984. Amazing trip. Um, Tony now dressed it, it says, uh, we were booked to go in April, but obviously we know how that panned out. Mm, I don't know, tell me about it. The, the, the lower man just stood in the garden and stared in at me. He just stared. Gang, he just stared in at me. Gang, gang, he just stared in at me. He's just gone by again. <laughs> this is really, it's really bad. <laughs> it's really bad. Uh, I'm worried you're being, you're being unusually quiet today, aren't you? I wonder why this is. Shush, just be quiet. Um, Neil says, The best biscuits are homemade. I have to wholeheartedly agree. Uh, Mike, formerly known as Topamori J, kick out the wrong email, makes awesome biscuits from passion fruit to coconut and chocolate chips. Homemade biscuits all the way um, and warm. Warm out of the oven. That's what it's all about for me. Warm out the oven. I'm just conscious now that I might very much be wildly going over time today. Um, but you know, there is a lot of club business, so and we must finish it. We must finish it. Uh, Stan's mum says, for a moment there, I was worried John Parry wasn't going to hit that high note, but he made it his own. Sadly, it did cause a crack in one of my wine glasses. Rude, 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 <laughs> rude, rude. Stan's mum, rude, rude, rude. There's not that many bits left here, but I kind of feel like we need we still got to crack on with the old club business there's a lot of it um not that i'm complaining about that of course uh, twit twoo says is it safe to take my head out of this bucket of sand jared uh, stands mum as long as he doesn't try i will always love you we're not long uh, we've not long had new double glazing fitted rude <laughs> Uh, twit twit, so do the people riding the train and little Sue, of course, have to self-isolate when they return to the haunted table? Or is it like a day trip to the Isle of Wight? It's very much the latter. Very much the latter, uh, twit twit, Owlin. Um, Jackie Swan, if we're requesting teeny bopper hits from ye olden days, please may I have Puppy Love by Donny Osmond. I can't actually believe this is happening. I can't actually believe this is happening. Just hang on a minute, Jackie Swan. Can't, can't believe this is happening. It's the one that doesn't like talking as well. I can't, I can't bear it. This is really bad. <laughs> right, okay, hang on, puppy love then. For Jackie Swan, let me turn this. There's a lot going on here. Uh, come on, come on. Right, puppy love. <coughs> Excuse me. Excuse me. I think I remember this one. Uh, yes, good. All right, here we go. Here we go. Uh, uh, drum roll, please. And they called it puppy love. Oh, I guess the. Uh, never know. How a young heart 
I'm really for you. And what are you a lover? So, oh, 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 thank you. Oh, please don't thank you. I'm, I'm having to make it short because I've still got club business to get through, Jackie Swan. We have not finished today. We have not finished. It's insane. Uh, Tweedle Mandy uh, says, I love Donny Osmond. He was our first love before we moved on to the Bay City Rollers. Uh, Jackie uh, Swan says, I ran away to go on tour with the Osmonds in 1975. What? What? She says, uh, I had... Uh, oh, light Bevis. Bevis, light. I think Bevis has left us. Like, genuinely think Bevis has left us, by the way. I think we all need to brace ourselves. He's, we've, we've lost him. He's gone. But, you know, if he's not Bevis, light Bevis. Um, I had no train or concert ticket... I got to London and into Earl's Court, but after the concert, reality struck as I had no money or any way to, anywhere to stay. What on earth, Jackie Swan? Needless to say, when I finally got home, I was in big trouble. Yes, I can imagine you were in big trouble. What an absolute, what an absolute terror you are. Oh, look, we're turning around finally. Um... Uh, Jordan, it's time for Dr. Jordan's facts. Hey, don't get bored, man. It's time for Facts with Dr. Jordan. On today's fact, I, I shall be giving you a brief history of the Great Western Railway GWR 4800 class, uh, later renamed to the GWR uh, 1400 class. The D... GWR 1400 class is a class of steam locomotive designed by the Great Western Railway for branch line passenger work. It was originally classified as the 4800 class when introduced in 1932 and renumbered in 1946. Uh, train specifications. Train specifications. This is the nerdy bit. Power steam build date 1932 to 1936. Total produced 75 engines. Weight 19. 2,500 pounds, fuel, coal, brakes, vacuum, withdrawal date 1956 to 1965. The first... Hang on, Jordan. The, the first uh, locomotive, number, 40, number 4800, was built by Swindon Works. Swindon Works. And entered service in 1932, with a further 74 engines of this type, followed up to 1936. Uh, during this period, Swindon also built 20 5800 class engines, which were broadly similar but which were not fitted with auto train equipment or the Swindon top feet, as later fitted to a number of 4800 uh, class engines. Hmm. Hmm. They're not finished. Not by a long mile. <laughs> um, the four the four eight hundred class locomotives retained their original numbers uh, until the GWR uh, decided to experimentally convert twelve to eight hundred uh, class engines for oil firing. It was decided. It was decided that the converted engines. Hang on, please. Uh, would be reclassified as the 4800 class and so that 75 tank locomotives already already carrying this designation were reclassified as the 1400 class with the running numbers 1400 to 1474. I hope you're all keeping up with this. They could reach a maximum speed of 80 bars per hour, which was much faster than the diesel rail cars. Uh, designed to replace them could could reach. Mm. The fourteen hundred class was designed to work with the GW design of auto coach, especially coach designed for push pull working. The converted engines with no auto gear were withdrawn by nineteen sixty one. Uh, the auto fitted locos fared little better. Uh, where am I? Where am I? Where am I? <laughs> 
Where am I? Scrapping commenced in 1956 and all were withdrawn by early 1965. By the early 1960s, several had been in store, parked in and out of the way, sliding with the tarpaulin over the chimney for some time, being occasionally steamed to replace failed diesels. Ooh, look, picture. Fabulous. Uh, well done. Thank you, Jordan. Thank you, Jordan. I've got to get a lick on here. I've got a feeling we have wildly gone over time today. Wildly so. Uh, Tweedle Mandy. Uh, here is the answer to the second round of Guess the Tweedle. Only two people were correct, Dolly Neptune and Gillian B. I was the Smurf, only here for the biscuits, and Sue was the one about to do the PowerPoint presentation. As you can see, Dad just couldn't get a decent photo that day. Oh, my crumbs. So that's Mandy. That's last piece, Sue. I mean, will you look at them? Will you absolutely look at them? I, I couldn't adore I couldn't adore this one more, but please let's have another one. Um, Rosalie, he's just overjoyed, excited that he's got two cuties rather than just one. Um, Eric, we're still going. The, we are still have not finished club business today. Um, we are still going. Oh, we've got a oh no, we've got loads of stuff. How long are we? Hang on a minute. I need to check how how long we've gone today. Hang on, please. Okay, we've we've just gone over the hours, but uh, we've we 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 need to power we need to power through. Um, stickers. We have sticker number two, three, and four. Sticker uh, number two, three, and four. Two, three, and four. Sticker number two. Sticker number three. I mean, if I had the time now, I would I would experiment with the doodah brick shop rider, but I haven't got time. And sticker number four. Sticker number four. Sticker number four. Uh, Eric, so are you able to uh, buy more track for the train? Um, I mean, could you conceivably have the train running? Uh all the way from one end of the honey table to all the way where it is now and back again. Yes, I probably could, yes. Uh, Professor Lagout, there are indeed boxes of track that can be purchased. Dale, they're quite expensive, though. I believe you need four sets to complete a circle. Uh, yeah, it would take four sets, it's true. If you're patient and wait for the track set at 60205 to go on sale, though, then compared to Bricklink, it's worth it for the straight track alone. After you've purchased all the straight track, you may... You might need a few more of the curved pieces. If that's the case, you can easily pick up a few from Brick Link. Okay, super. Super news. Right, hang on. Sorry, fruit, massive fruity burp. Absolutely massive fruity burp. Let's get these in. Still haven't finished club business today. It's 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 insane. Ooh. 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 Oh, Jiminy Crickets, right there we are. That, that's rather nice, isn't it? Not, yes. Uh, Eric, I needed this today. You have all made me laugh and laugh with the Biscuit Wars. I have not laughed since the horrors in our country yesterday. Hashtag Biscuit Wars. There is no laughing better, Eric. This, this is serious. Hashtag dead with that sort of thing. Hashtag custard cream suck. Oh, God. Oh, God. Uh, Eric uh, Oswald, uh, hashtag... Uh, biscuit Wars, uh, Kath Pearson, actual biscuits fighting, uh, and that concludes uh, club business. Right. Let's get this done. That's not there, it goes there. There's really not that much more, so h hang on, gang. And we will get this. What an epic today. My crumbs, it's had everything. Flipping heck. Um, oh look, this is rather nice. This is for umbrellas. Lovely. That's umbrellas. And this. This will be for something. Who knows what, we don't know yet. Um, clock. Going there. Then... Oh, we've got another sticker coming up. Sticker number seven. Sticker. Sticker number seven. 
Mystic number seven. Again, I would... Um, I'm not entirely sure what that is. Oh, it's a weighing machine. It's a weighing machine. That goes on there. Yep, lovely. And this do we think well I'm fascinated as to what this is going to be turn it over hmm Oh, I think it's going to be a a little seat, isn't it? That's the back of a seat. That's a rather neat way of doing that. Now the sticker, sticker number nine, sticker number nine, sticker number nine. We're almost there again. going here. Lovely. Another sticker. Sticker number 13, sticker number 13, sticker number 13. That's nice. And I do believe this is, this is the end. That's it. Great. Super. Lovely. Uh, so uh, sorry we've gone over today, but I will see you tomorrow. Afflux forever. Bye-bye.